Hey guys, this is David Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. Today's video, I'm going to talk about sunscreen and its relation to acne, pimples, and breakouts. Now, the question was, does sunscreen cause acne uh, and pimples? Uh, first, I'm going to talk about what sunscreen does to your skin and on your body and in your body, and what the sun does as well. So, what both those factors play into in regards to your health and your skin and the health of your skin. So, um, first things first, um, sunscreen, uh, from my research, uh, about 84% of sunscreen products um, contain chemicals and things in them that are toxic and that actually uh, can cause further problems down the road. And I'll get into that more later, but first let me just say that most sunscreens are very low quality and have just horrific chemicals in them that are going to cause health problems. Um, that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing is that the sun, what the sun actually does, and you know this, this is one of the purposes for the sun, I guess, um, it actually gives you vitamin D. Now, pe many people don't realize this, but you actually get vitamin D from the sun. Well, most people know that, but you actually get the vitamin D from the sun through the ultraviolet, the UV rays. Now, what I find really interesting, and what some other people that have researched this find really interesting too, is that sunscreen works to block UV rays. Now, everything is important and everything you know needs to be balanced. I mean, if you drink too much water, you can die. Um, so you don't want to drink... Uh, because you can literally drown your body internally if you drink too much water. So obviously everything has to be in balance. Um, but what happens is that in America and in really the majority of the world, now that we have shelter, um, we're in the shade, and we don't get outside and see the sun much, we get a lot, a, you know, a lot of shade. We don't get enough sun. We don't get enough vitamin D from the sun that it provides. And vitamin D has actually been proven to be one of the strongest uh, vitamins for preventing uh, cancer. So um, the sun is, you know, the ultraviolet rays from the sun are great for vitamin D. That gives you vitamin D. And one of the things that is really interesting is the FDA hasn't really regulated or looked at sunscreen products at all. They've just kind of left it to be, which I don't know why. You know, that's I have a lot of questions for the FDA, which most of them I really I kind of have the answer to, but I think they should start, you know, looking into some of these things. But a lot of the cosmetics out there have a lot of things in them too, like for example, proxybenzol peroxide and, and acne treatments. So um, sunscreen has a lot of things in them that actually will cause problems with your health and in your body. And what sunscreen actually does, so the purpose, you know, quote unquote, for sunscreen is to protect you from UV rays. Okay, but like I just said, you know, we're inside most of the time, and when we do get in the sun, that all those UV rays are giving us vitamin D, which is crucial for health, uh, keeping your immune system strong, and also uh, it just helps play a role in the synergistic health of your body and your skin. Um, the, 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 only, the reason that our skin gets burnt, the reason you get you know, burnt skin and that people think they need sunscreen is actually because of a nutrient deficiency in the body, and that is because antioxidants are uh, deficient in the body, just meaning there's not enough anti you don't have enough antioxidants in your body, and also uh, vitamin D as well, and so other just you know really there's a, all vitamins and minerals and antioxidants all play a role in connecting to each other too, so they all support each other and everything. So there's a lot of different things, but the main thing I would say is antioxidants, um, and you can get that through obviously nutrition, uh, healthy foods, you know organic uh, fruits, vegetables. Um, chlorella is a good source of that. Um, I actually take some supplements that are antioxidant-based uh, things too. So there's a lot of ways to get antioxidants. So basically, if you're getting burned in your skin, it's it's really because of a nutrient deficiency. Now, and there is, and the other thing too is that if you're if you've been inside for you know a winter, like right now I'm in Michigan, so it's cold here, and I don't get outside and see the sun much. But and if you you know go outside and in, in, in the um, sun, you know, on the first sunny day all day long, there's a good chance you're going to get burned just because it's like shock to your skin in a sense. And, you know, that's just shocking your skin. But if you have the antioxidants in your body and you you have enough nutrients in your body, you really won't get burned. You know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, if you go to a remote island where, you know, tribes are still living on an island, you know, in tribes and, you know, and, you know they see the sun all day long and they, you know, they just kind of live off the land. There are still those out there in the world, believe it or not. Um, they don't get burnt. They they don't have to. They don't worry about getting sun burnt and skin cancer. They don't use sunscreen. Guys, this is a huge, huge, huge. Just I don't even know where it came from. Some brilliant quote unquote business guy thought of it and is selling this you know toxic lotion to everyone in the world. So you have to understand that the sun is healthy. The sun provides our bodies with vitamin D, which combats and fighting skin cancer. And what I also find interesting is there's a direct link between sunscreen companies 
and uh, cancer research, which is kind of interesting because people get cancer when they're not in the sun and sunscreen can cause that to happen quicker. You're more likely to get skin cancer by not getting in the sun. So that's, that's the first part I want to share. The second part is that sunscreen actually makes it worse because sunscreen is full of toxic chemicals, 84% of them approximately, more than 8 out of 10. Um, the chemicals will actually, when you put them on your skin, when you rub them into your arms or whatever, um, they get into your pores, and they actually block the UV rays from the sun, okay, that is providing vitamin D to getting in your body. So what sunscreen actually does is it does not protect you against UV rays. It actually blocks you against UV rays. Protecting you against UV rays, antioxidants will do that. When you get enough UV rays for the day and vitamin D from the sun, antioxidants will be there to do what they need to do in your skin and in your internal body. Whereas sunscreen, when it hits your skin and the UV rays, uh, when you put the sunscreen on your, you know, your pores, the, the sun will actually, it gets into your pores and the sun will actually kind of bake it in there even further. And that sunscreen will stay in your body and it will block the UV rays and the vitamin D. So you don't get the vitamin D benefit from the sun. You don't get the UV rays that are you know, getting the vitamin D into your body. And you're just putting toxins on your skin all over your body. Um, so there are natural things you can do to put on your skin to, you know, if if you you know are kind of getting yourself in you know a lot of sun out of nowhere. Uh, first of all, I recommend getting antioxidants in your diet, um, uh, superfoods, uh, organic fruits and vegetables, um, chlorella. It's like a green uh, uh, green. It's a it's a plant. It's chlorella. C H R or L O R. ELA or something like that. Um, and then there's a couple, just, just eating healthy and getting those antioxidants. So um, when you put sunscreen on your back, neck, shoulders, face, wherever you have acne, what that's actually doing is it's blocking the vitamin D from the sun from get, to getting into your, into your body. And vitamin D uh, boosts your immune system, which immune system is going to fight the negative bacteria that will help cause more acne. Okay, So uh, by putting sunscreen on your skin, not only are you reducing your immune system, which fights acne, which fights the bacteria that causes acne, which, you know, that links right there. But you are also putting toxic chemicals on your skin that get into your pores and clog things up, which means that water cannot flush toxins out of your body, and it clogs things up so it also doesn't allow nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and antioxidants to get to your skin, to heal your skin, to clear your skin up and get rid of acne. So it's the, like the, it's a huge lie out there that sunscreen is somehow good for you. It's not good for you guys. Look at the ingredients. If you have sunscreen right now, go grab the ingredients, look at the label, Google every single ingredient. I highly encourage you to do this. You're going to find that these ingredients are not safe. They're not things that should be in your bloodstream, in your body. And people use it all the time like it's nothing and just putting it on their skin, getting in their pores, in their bloodstream, in their body. So um, I highly recommend you don't use sunscreen. Um, external things you can use, um, aloe vera. A lot of people think, you know, oh, aloe vera is just for burns. And yeah, you can use aloe vera for burns. It's really good for your skin. And aloe vera is really good for putting on your skin for acne too. But uh, personally, you can just put aloe vera on your skin before you go into the sun too because aloe vera is cooling and soothing and it's going to help keep your skin healthy and cool so that when the sun... Um, when you do get sun, you know, if it's like a shock period, like I was talking about, you know, no sun to a bunch of sun, um, your skin won't burn as quickly if you are nutrient deficient. So get the nutrients. Use aloe vera on your skin. It's a great thing to just keep your skin healthy and looking young and fresh and keeping your skin clear of acne and pimples and breakouts and eczema and all that kind of stuff. But then also, um, I find that coconut oil is really good too. Coconut oil is healing and it's just something, you know, coconut oil is great for your skin, so use that too. Um, so use coconut oil, uh, uh, aloe vera, 100% pure aloe vera too. None of the, the it, you, when you get aloe vera, it has to be clear color. It has to be clear and say 100% aloe vera, 99.999% aloe vera. A lot of aloe veras now are like, they have dyes in them. They're like green and red. That's not real aloe vera. You're putting dyes in it. Like, come on, what are these companies doing? I don't get it. <laughs> so get 100% pure aloe vera and um, also uh, coconut oil. And get antioxidants in your diet to make sure that excess UV radiation, UV... Uh, from the sun doesn't damage your skin um, and you'll just get the vitamin D benefit from it and you don't need sunscreen. I don't use sunscreen, I haven't used it in years. Um, my aunt and some other people think I'm crazy. Um, that's okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have to worry about skin cancer anytime soon or other, any other things in my body because I know these things can cause problems down the road. Um, so, how do I recommend you stay away from and stop using sunscreen? If you do, there are natural ones out there, there are all natural alternatives. Um, just go to your local health food store or shop online for natural sunscreens um, or use aloe vera um, 
you know, coconut oil. And then, but just get the antioxidants in your diet, guys. It's so important. You can do all these external things, but you have to do the internal as well. So get antioxidants in your diet. Eat healthy. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated when you're in the sun because um, that keeps your body cool. And it also helps if you do get burnt to heal the burns um, as well. So drink a lot of water, aloe vera, all that, antioxidants, and uh, that'll help you keep your skin clear. So um, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something, and I hope you can find a safer and nat more natural alternative or use some of the ones I recommended instead of sunscreen. This is David the Skin King from Acne Erasing Secrets.com. We're clearing the world of acne one person at a time, starting with you. Subscribe to my channel above, hit thumbs up and like my video below. Favorite this video, share it on your playlist, share it with your friends, people need to hear this information and do further research because no one is talking about this and people need to understand what's good for them and what's bad for them so they can stop doing what's bad for them and start doing what's good for them to live a healthier, happier and uh, just more fulfilled, less uh, resistant life because there's a lot of uh, health problems out there and you know you got to watch what you use in terms of products, cosmetics, uh, food, drinks, you know, there's so many factors. So um, subscribe to my channel, like my video, comment, leave your thoughts, questions, opinions, and feedback below. And we'll see you on my website below. Have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.